And we are rolling on December 8th, 2017, where it's a beautiful day in Los Angeles. The sunshine is shining. And we're about to hear a persuasive speech from Timothy Gibson. Timothy stands before us, managing attention, to cut your head off, uh, communicating respect non-verbally, finding friendly eyes near the front and the center. Say your name, feel the love, start your speech. Timothy Gibson. Hi, Timothy. Doe, a deer, a female deer, ray, a drop of golden sun. This line is from the famous movie musical, Sound of Music, and it's used when Maria is trying to help the Von Trapp children learn to sing. That's what I'm going to talk to you about today, learning to sing. And I've actually since come to realize that the song is a perfect example of a sticky lesson incorporating all the principles from the book. So, today I'm going to persuade you to learn to sing. I'm going to present you with two benefits that will happen, present you with two reasons to learn to sing, three concrete actions that you can take, and benefits that will follow if you adopt my proposal. I personally love to sing, and I think it's something that you will enjoy as well, and there are numerous benefits with it that people don't seem to realize. The first reason that I want you to learn to sing is that it has benefits for your physical health. In a 2014 peer-reviewed article in the Canadian Music Educator, Catherine Hurst writes that singing can boost cardiovascular health, respiratory system health, posture, and immune system health. <clears throat> I feel that this is something that not a lot of people know about singing. They don't really think of it as what it is, a form of exercise that can boost your respiratory and cardiovascular performance. So I wanted to point that out to you as one reason why you should learn to sing. A second reason why you should learn to sing is that it has benefits for your mental health as well. This is because singing reduces stress. In the same article from before, Hurst writes about how singing reduces stress, but I have found this to be true in my personal experience as well. Singing is one of my go-to activities when I'm stressed. After I have a long, stressful day, I'll go back to my room, and if my roommates aren't too annoyed, I'll sometimes just sing a couple songs to myself. It's really whatever I feel like singing that day. Right now, it's a lot of Christmas carols. I'll do a lot of show tunes as well, just because those are songs I like. And I find that when I do this, my stress is just lifted. It just channels into another form. I'm able to take it and just put it out there and take it away. And that's really something I truly enjoy and I find very beneficial. Now. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well that's great, but I can't sing. Singing is not something that you learn, it's something that people are born with. But that is not true. I'm going to present you with three concrete actions that you can take to learn to sing. The first is through a Fiat Lux offered here at UCLA. This class is called Steps to Better Singing, and I took it last spring quarter. Students from every skill level of singing, from students that have sung for years to students that have literally never sung in front of an audience before, take this course. And they're presented with an opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with some undergraduate and graduate vocal performance students and work under a vocal performance professor here at the UCLA School of Music. And this is an awesome chance just to build skills that people don't think of as basic singing, like breath support and tone, that can help you improve through our very own education here at UCLA. A second action you can take is to do a musical with Hooligan Theatre Company. Hooligan is a theatre company on campus that is student-run, and every winter quarter they actually do two musicals that are no-cut, so everyone gets in. If you want to learn to sing, I, pre I present this option to you as an awesome chance. This is because you will get to work one-on-one -on -one with student vocal directors who can help you improve and sing in a choral group setting, which has been found to actually reduce stress more so than singing individually. So, if you do this, you'll have a chance to work on your singing improvement in a group with vocal directors and get a fun chance to perform, act, and dance as well, which I think is a truly cool experience that everyone should get the chance to do. The third action you can take is to just sing. Singing is not like playing another instrument like the guitar or the tuba where you have to get a giant thing and carry it around with you. With singing, you are the instrument and can just do it yourself. Just find a song you like and sing along. You will find that you improve as you try to match a singer you like and just learn from how they perform the song. This is very useful, but some people will tell you not to do this as it can be damaging to your vocal health. But I think as long as you don't find that you're in pain as you sing, you're probably fine. 
so I highly recommend that you just sing and see if you like it. Some benefits that will follow if you do these actions is that you will learn to sing. I've been singing for a long time, and I truly believe that it is not a natural talent in itself. There is a talent element of it, but I think a lot of it is a skill that people learn and can be taught. So that is why you should do these actions, and you will find that your singing improves. As you learn things like basic breath support and tone, you will be a much better singer than people who don't know those things. And you will be able to impress people with those skills. It's also really fun, guys. You can create music with just yourself, and that's something that's really beautiful. And, as stated before, it's good for your mental and physical health. So these are things that will happen, benefits that will occur, if you adopt my proposal. So, in summary, today I've shared with you two reasons why you should learn to sing, because it is good for your physical and mental health, three actions that you can take, and benefits that will ensue if you adopt my proposal. In conclusion, there should be no doubt in this room that you should learn to sing. And I want to leave you with another quote from The Sound of Music. When you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't uh, start the uh, time, so we'll just say it was five minutes. Perfect. <laughs> okay, great. Um, take your hands out of your pockets. Step back a little so I can get you, keep you in the screen. Great. Mm -hmm. um, hey, music educator. Yeah, that's great. And it was 2014, so that was good. Well, Timothy, uh, what a pleasant surprise. Yeah, that and, would be unexpected. And uh, the whole theme was unexpected. I'll get to the stickiness of it after I go through it. But I want to say a couple of things about this. In an overarching way, I like the theme of it. I like the creativity. I mean, starting with a doe, a deer, a female deer. I wish uh, <coughs> you had uh, had the courage to sing again at the end. Okay. That would have been the real, you know, okay. uh, full tie back, okay, you know. Because sure. um, after all, you know, you're you're really advocating singing, so you should sing. You know, yeah. You keep moving out of the camera Sorry. range. Um, <clears throat> so, you uh, started with a, uh, an introduction that was really uh, sticky and unique and unexpected. And I'm sure if there was more people in the room, they would sit up and take notice and say, my word, that was really noticeable and uh, uh, excellent. On your mm, thesis preview, it was well uh, stated. And so you, uh, we knew just what you were going to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, your significant statement, you said first yourself, and then you, of course, did, didn't fail to relate it to the audience, which so it tells me you completely understood significant to the audience, and so I'm real happy about that. Your evidence on it's good for your physical health, much a surprise of the Canadian music uh, educator, author Kate Catrin Hirsch. Catrin? Catrin Hirsch? I think I said Catherine, but I was saying Catrin. Sure. Catrin, yeah, yeah. But um, it uh, was, uh, and it was 2014, I, so I apologize. So it was very, you know, you, you got within the time frame. And. Um, it makes sense to me that these things would be true, and it makes sense that they would begin to start to hook people up and measure these things physiologically, mm -hmm. so that's good. Um, uh, and I like the way that you um, uh, related it back to yourself and said, you know, that it's important to me too, and you put the feelings back in there. So that was good. On your second reason of reducing stress, you 
used personal experience as your evidence and said that when you go home in the shower or if your roommates will allow it, you can sing. This is always a problem. Um, I was always fortunate my family was able to mm, mm, they insisted that I live alone when I was in college so that I had the freedom to I was a music major so I had the freedom to compose at any hour of the day or night and I could sing and mm, so much to, uh, just to confirm your uh, anecdotal story, I could come home stressed and be beating the shit out of the piano. And after a while, the effects of the music would calm me down and take me to a calmer place, <laughs> you know. Um, but it is a problem. Um, Fortunately, my children in college were able to live alone, too, but my daughter got a... For her keyboard, one of her neighbors could hear her playing, and so she got headphones yeah. for her... Uh, she has a, a Yamaha electronic yeah. keyboard, so she puts the headphones on after 10, she can still play, that's nice. so that that works. You know, if you're a pianist, it doesn't work for the guitar, no. or, or, but it does work for other music. But it doesn't work for the voice, you yeah, know, that's that's, unless true. you're in the shower and your roommates, and, you know, uh, you know. There's a um, as long as you can transcend the ability, so people don't think you're weird. You say, "Look, this is me. Screw you." And you're not afraid to be yourself, that's good. On your actions, I thought they were really excellent. I particularly want to thank you for elaborating on the Fiat Lux class. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just, oh, take the Fiat Lux class, but you told us the name of the class, who taught it, where to go take it, and some of the lessons you get out of it. So that was excellent. Um, I also like the idea of the musical concept of hooligan with a no-cut concept so that everybody at least can be in the chorus numbers and sing. Uh, that, that always was a problem in high school. There was, I, know I was a scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz and I... I the sex scene in Marat's side. I don't know if you know that work. Um, yeah, another musical. Mm -hmm. But um, people that didn't get the part, you know, they were really bummed out. They wanted to, you know, kill me and kill others that got the parts. Um, on your second, third reason, uh, I thought that the growing the confidence and uh, was good. Uh, sometimes people are told that they have a bad voice. My wife's father said, you have a lousy voice. And he traumatized her into, she's afraid to sing. He said, he was really a mean man. And he said, you couldn't carry a tune in a bucket. No. You know, and I was like, shit. You know, and... Uh, I thought that was particularly cruel, so to this day she loves music, we go to concerts, but she will never utter a sound because of what her father had done, so it's kind of interesting. On your benefits, um, yeah, uh, I thought they were good, I thought you detailed enough benefits for people to say. You you reviewed some of the ones that you had already in physical and mental and then uh, a few additional ones, so that was good. Your summary, your conclusion and tie back were fine. I just wish you yeah. had sung. I should have gone for it. I thought it would be a little much, but I thought I should have done it. No, not really. You know. 
on your um, the stickiness of this let's talk well I thought you had a simple message and uh, so you got down core of just sing mm -hmm. so that was excellent um, the whole thing was the topic was unexpected mm -hmm. and your singing was unexpected and your evidence was unexpected so that, those were good mm -hmm. things if you had an audience here they would have been, would have kept their interest mm -hmm. as far as your credibility went I thought it was operating on two levels here one the evidence you cited and two your own evidence it wasn't like you were urging people to sing and you didn't sing yourself. You know, it's like a girl I told you about in class that yeah. said, give blood, and she never gave it. I'm like, huh? Okay. Um, yeah. And um, as far as uh, concrete versus abstract, I thought it was very concrete, and that's what we want to remember to be. Mm -hmm. The emotional connection could have been a little stronger just a little bit more of your passion just how good you feel how one you feel with your emotions I was thinking here on that thing that maybe you wanted to mention karaoke or sing-alongs and mention that for people as a possible option uh, that sort of thing would have uh, been um, real concrete and um, stories yeah you had some stories and so that was good mm -hmm. your canais use all my time well we'll never know <laughs> to convince people to sing unexpectedly grab attention with my intro how did it go I thought the intro went well that was my idea yeah. that was to be unexpected I think hopefully I used my time. I don't actually know. Yeah, well, I I, I started it late and I, I it came out at uh, two forty. So so I'm sure you used five minutes. And we'll you can check it oh, tonight yeah. when I post it on YouTube. Because mm -hmm. that was short last time, so I want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let me um, record this before I forget. Yeah. Okay, good, yeah. So this was your best speech. Thank you. Yeah. As I guess you know, I wasn't very impressed with your piece. Yeah, that was not my best speech. Yeah, but this one was your best speech, so that was good, yeah. And let's see, do you, did you, you didn't do any of the extra credit, right? I think I gave you one, but it wasn't for, I went to see a different live speaker and then I gave you a write-up on that. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll look for that. Thank you. And, um, and let's see what else I, I mean. And you turn in your uh, intro of your study, buddy? Yes, I give that to you right here. Okay. Good. All right, good. Okay, well, we're good. Right. So uh, let's see if we have someone out here so I don't have to stop the camera, but I doubt that we do. Hello? I can go on my way out. I can walk by your office and see yeah, if yeah, can you Yeah, walk down there and yeah. someone's down there, send them up okay. here. And you want me to email you a self-evaluation once you post it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, perfect. Thank you, Professor. Okay, you're welcome, Tim Othey. Bye. <sighs> 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 Who's knocking at my door? Is it Barnacle Bill the Sailor? Oh, I gave up on you. <laughs> I thought, you were, I thought you weren't coming. No, I was coming. Okay, good. Well, uh, give me a moment if you don't yeah, no, mind to return with, yeah. a call. Thank you, Tom. I need a question. Okay, good. Uh -huh. 
Did you see my note down at my office? Yeah. Yeah. And so you found it. Okay, yeah. great. Did you go in the comm office or just come no. straight? We asked. And so then she sent you here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Great. Okay, so. She's calling. Hi, Simona. Hi, Professor Miller. Sorry I keep missing your call. Yeah, How are well, you doing? I'm doing makeup speeches because we canceled class because of the oh, fire. Yeah. I didn't it think was it was necessary bad. because the, most of the students live in the dorms, yeah. but you know, the chancellor felt it was, so I was overruled. Um, but, um, I had, did you get the issues that I left yes. the message so, on and so, so resolve your, my issues. Of, yeah. So one of your issues I resolved very easily because I already emailed you your performance data. So I exported oh, everything in an Excel file and oh, you great. can see all of your students are going to be on the left and then each of their assignments by date are going to be in the spreadsheet. So you have that. Right. Now your students student that you would want to open up the quizzes, I don't have anybody enrolled in the Rebel course by the name of Jake. Jake Capper? No, Jake, he, Jake he's, Seawick. He's not, he's in, not enrolled. He's not enrolled. Hmm. So he needs to purchase, um, mm -hmm. he needs to use the invite link and I can resend it to you, purchase mm -hmm. access and then enroll. I cannot reopen anything for him because he's not enrolled. Not enrolled. Okay, I'll tell him. So ask him if he know if he read the instructions in your syllabus. I don't think so. I don't think no. he did. I think he's kind of a zoned out kid. So uh, I'll I'll call him and talk to him. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so thank you for that. I yeah. And thank you for the enough. thank you for the spreadsheet. Sure. And uh, did you and do you want me to write anything anywhere to anybody yeah, or so what do you, you want me to what? do? Will, we really like to get your feedback because um, mm -hmm. you, know, you were one of the first professors at UCLA who used Revel mm -hmm. and I would like to hear from you as mm -hmm. an educator how everything worked. Do you see any difference in your uh, course? What was some of the positives? And then you can, and I will copy my managers on it or you can just send it to me and I will forwarding to them, or you can okay. send it to all of us. Okay, good. But these would be, and then, you know, all, all, also our support of how easy was this for you to change and get on with this. And then yeah. hopefully I can share that with my company and I can also share it with your colleagues at UCLA because yeah, okay, yeah. a lot of them are using a paper product, but I can offer them something for less expensive that's better. Yeah, that's so good, I, yeah. I would like to use your experience and share this with okay. as many people as I can. What? Just out of curiosity, what are sure. what text are they using? Is it, okay, is it so very? You, you are using a high level text. The Zerbsky is one of our higher level texts. I know. You it have, is. There's a couple of lecturers at UCLA, and I'm quite surprised that they what they are using. Yeah. But they're using the BB handbook. Yeah, it's and for the, morons. Yeah. If they, and BB is a really good author, but a handbook would not be a choice that I would recommend no, for you. For no, it's yeah. for morons. No, it's morons. For morons. You know, it, it's very bare bones, and it mm. works for a community college low-level course where students yeah. are not doing their reading. But at UCLA, you would expect from students to yeah. take this course very seriously. So that's well, I another, do. Yeah, I you can. did. You did amazing, and I'm very yeah. excited. Yeah. And I've been trying to reach out to some of those colleagues of yours, okay. and I haven't heard 
I haven't heard back from them, so maybe okay. next term I, I'll get Well, maybe, them. you know, if they see that uh, the, the text is good and the work is easy and the price is less, yeah. they'll, they'll use it and they can use my testimonial. I know, yeah. I know one colleague, uh, I don't know if he ever went through with it, but when he proposed a new course, he listed Zarevsky as what he would be using. So I think it was to impress the dean, but yeah. So that was well, that. Yeah. You were the only. You were the only one with Zarovsky, and I think that's the right choice. No. So no, no, no. I really appreciate your offer to give yeah. us the feedback. Okay. I really appreciate it. And then once you hear back, take a look at the performance data that I emailed you. Yeah. And then when you hear back from Jake, let me know, and I will help him get the okay, test good. done. Okay, but great. He needs to enroll. Okay, okay great. Thank and you uh, so send much. me send me an email reminding me that you want feedback. Okay. The feedback. I'm gonna do that right now. Thank okay. you so much, Professor. All right, Samana. Have a good life. Take care. Don't you change. Too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, you ready to rock and roll? You just missed a great speech. Since? Yeah, it was oh, really good. excellent. Yeah. Okay. It was on s learning to sing and be a singer. <laughs> okay, here's the sticky final. And then you wanted our study buddy outlines? I did. Okay, yeah. that. Uh -huh. Can I email that to you? A study buddy outline? Yeah. yeah. And that's the... The, the hard yeah. one. Yeah, this but is what I really needed. And yeah. this is for my persuasive speech. You, right did now. you turn... Do you have this? Let me give it to you right now. Okay, let's, let's just get everything now while we're wasting time. And here's your persuasive speech outline. Great, okay. okay. Well, thank you both for coming in today. I yeah. appreciate it. It's uh, nice to uh, get this out of the way. Yeah. Oh, and then the sticky final. Okay, great. And are we meeting next week for finals week? I already explained. You did? No. No, I'm we not. aren't. Okay, sorry. We, <laughs> we, we are so done, you can stick a fork in us. Yes. No, there's nothing left. Yeah, okay. I was you are the, there's actually one girl coming tomorrow, and then we're done. Oh, nice. Uh, Harnor. So that's it. Okay, Yara stands before us, managing attention. Communicating respect non-verbally, finding friendly eyes near the front and the center. Say your name. Why don't you sit over here so she doesn't have such a... We're here to support each other, Dennis. Doesn't have such an eye range to go through. Yeah. Mm, say your name, feel the love, start your speech. So I'm Eris. Hi, Eris. So breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And I'm sure all of us have heard that, um, that quote many times before, 50 million times or less. And um, this is something that college students tend to forget about, and it mostly applies to us. So today I want to persuade you to not skip breakfast. Um, I will offer two reasons why I believe this, and um, actions and benefits that will, you will receive if you take a um, course of those actions. Um, so Deborah Enos from Life Science says that the uh, evidence that shows that breakfast is a meal not to be skipped is um, overwhelming. Uh, I want to explain to you the risks of skipping breakfast, or your health risks that you receive from skipping breakfast, and the benefits that you receive if you don't skip it. Good. So first, um, the first reason I want to uh, suggest to not skip breakfast is because um, it lowers your risk of heart disease are you and move diabetes. Are you or are you just going to stand no. there? <laughs> okay. So Good. the first reason I want to explain to you why to um, not skip breakfast is because it lowers the risk of uh, diabetes and heart disease. The same life science art, uh, article that I was talking about earlier um, shows that women's, um, has an, women have an increased rate of getting diabetes if they skip breakfast. And even if they only eat breakfast a couple times a week uh, as opposed to every day of the week, they still have a higher risk of getting diabetes. And um, eating breakfast every day also reduces the chance of heart disease, hypertension, and a lot of other uh, medical conditions. So I feel very strongly about not skipping breakfast because if um, a simple meal such as a granola bar or an apple in the morning reduces um, a lot of scary risks. Um, heart, disease, heart disease and diabetes are not risks to be taken a chance on. You should do everything in your power to avoid that because 
breakfast is a, such a small part of your day, but it su has such a huge impact. And the second reason I want to suggest not to uh, skip breakfast is because of your energy levels. So my support for this is actually personal. So in the beginning of college of this quarter, I would skip breakfast a lot in order to give myself time to walk to class. And because of this, I would obviously I would skip breakfast, I would go, and for the rest of the day, I'd be low on energy, even if I would eat lunch or dinner. I would still feel that um, big, in the beginning of the day, which was probably the most important part of my day where most of my classes were, I was feeling really low on energy, I wasn't focusing very well, and um, a lot of the time I would have to either sleep in the middle of the day, or I would have to take a really long break in order to get myself back on track, which um, put a lot of, put a pause on my day, it didn't let me flow through it as smoothly as I could have if I had just taken five minutes to eat something simple. So I feel very strongly about this as well because energy in the beginning of your day when you start it is probably the most important because once you get to the end of your day you've kind of wasted some time because of uh, so something as simple as breakfast. Great. So now I will offer uh, three courses of action you can take in order to avoid skipping breakfast. So the first one is um, prepping meals early, like the night before. So if, you want, if you're one of those people that likes to have something as fancy as a breakfast burrito or a full pancake breakfast uh, in the morning, then you can prep it the night before so you don't have to wake up super early to get everything prepared. And in this way, it um, relieves some stress off of your morning. Stay in the power stance. <laughs> the second reason, uh, the second course of action I want to provide for you is um, making sure that you have um, on the go, on the go snacks. So granola bars, any piece of fruit, um, packs of yogurt, packs of the little yogurt with dips, things like that. Something that you can buy in the store in bulk. Put it in your fridge, grab it, and then you can walk to class while eating. Um, that saves you a lot of time as well as uh, the same thing as the first course of action. You don't have to wake up super early to do it. And if you're stocked on this, you'll never have a reason to skip it. And the last course of action I want to offer you is to wake up a little bit earlier. Um, even if it's five or ten minutes, it gives you time to kind of think, um, grab whatever you want, make a choice, and then you can kind of uh, carry on with your day, eat it while you're going to work, while you're going to school. And in this way, not only is it not time consuming, but you really don't have an excuse not to. So whenever you wake up, even if it's a little bit earlier, five minutes, set an alarm for 7.55 instead of 8 a.m., um, you will provide yourself with energy and lower health risks. So in summary, I have given you two reasons why I think you should not skip breakfast and uh, three courses of action you could take in order to benefit from not skipping breakfast. Um, even though breakfast seems like such a simple thing, so something small that we kind of throw out of the way because we have meals set ahead for us in the, uh, for the rest of the day, it, um, it really significantly impacts our health, it impacts our focus, our energy, basically everything we need for a day-to-day -day basis, and that is why it is so important. So when you hear that quote that you roll your eyes at, that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, just take two seconds to grab a granola bar and apple because it will benefit you in the long run. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, what'd you like? Uh, I like the Stand floor. up, oh. say your name. <laughs> I'm Tess. Hi, Tess. Hi, Tess. <laughs> I like the flow of your speech um, mm -hmm. and the way that you made eye contact. It was pretty good. And then, am I doing improvement too? Yes. Okay. Uh, improvement, maybe less filler words, and uh, uh, power, power sets? Okay, good. Yeah, thank you. Those were good comments. Eris to the throne. Yes. Hmm. I like your speech. It was um, stay in the power stand. Speak a little wider. You may have it. I mean that powerful, <laughs> so you can't be tipped over. Yeah. <clears throat> you started with a an allusion to an expression that we've all heard, so that was familiar. And you acknowledge that we've heard it 50 million times, but you then went on to say, maybe we're not taking, we've heard it so much, we're not taking it seriously. And so I thought that was good. So your pers your persuasive intent was to have people not skip breakfast, and uh, your thesis preview was just fine. Your quote from Debbie Enos uh, I wish you said it was, you accessed it, it was from 13 and it was from 17 that you accessed it. I wish you had stressed the date a little bit yeah. more so that we had, can assess the credibility of when it came, yeah. right? Okay. Uh, would have been uh, good, but still, 
uh, the evidence uh, of uh, general nature, you chose a quote about it, it's just, is overwhelming. And that was a good general quote to use. And then you followed up in your first reason with the diabetes quote uh, related to women. Um, my only suggestion, and I'm sort of being a little picky here, is you know there's a couple of guys in the class, so if you had something for them or not exclude them, or guys too will benefit from, you know, so it's not just women. Mm -hmm. On your second reason, I thought it was from your um, personal story, and I like stories, and so you said you skip breakfast and you drag all day, and that was compelling and good reasoning, and um, so that was uh, uh, well done. I noticed with your eye contact, I don't know if you were you were avoiding looking at me or looking mostly at Tess or but I noticed this from before to work on that five seconds of eye contact and really you know, stare into somebody's soul for that five seconds to really make a connection. Okay. And then move on to somebody else. You were just kinda of, giving me a glance and maybe it tested you got a lot yeah. of eye contact yeah. Uh, but yeah okay on your actions they were excellent um, I thought they were practical the idea of prepping meals ahead of time and having snacks like nuts or power bars was good and getting up early was good after um, Concrete action comes benefits, and I wish you'd spent more time and stress the benefits because that's a real selling point. That sells the speech to benefits, and you know, no diabetes. You're gonna have a better day. You're gonna have that great energy. You know, and really sell it. You know, for the benefits. Yeah. Summary was good, conclusion was good, and your tie back was interesting. I was expecting you to say that cliche again in sort of a so don't skip breakfast yeah. like your mama said, yeah. but you did have something sort of similar. Yeah. But I like, I like, as you can tell from what I've said to most people, I like a real vivid tie back yeah. that's, that's somehow say the same quote again or exactly say the same thing so you really do tie back. You did use the um, Chicago style of footnoting and that was excellent along with the bibliography. As far as the stickiness of the speech, um, I thought you had a simple message. So that was good. Um, I don't know what was unexpected so much. And yeah. did you uh, design anything that you thought was in here that was unexpected? Um, I think that that would have, could have been helpful if you did. But what yeah. were you thinking that was unexpected? I could probably, I should have probably emphasized the health risks a little bit more. Like maybe going okay. a little more specific. But I didn't want to throw statistics at everyone because they might just kind of lose interest. Yeah, well, you know, your author has some ideas about that, about how to yeah. use them effectively, but yeah. And then credibility, I thought you were credible mm -hmm. because you were doing this yourself and yeah. you talked about the before and after and you cited credible evidence mm -hmm. with the exception of not giving the date. As far as concrete versus abstract, it was very concrete. And your stories and more stories were good. So on the level of stickiness, it was pretty much a success with a little bit more of an emotional connection, more passion. Uh, come on, guys, you really have got to eat breakfast. Yeah. It matters. It's important, you know. So... Uh, 
I know it's kind of hard to get emotional about mm -hmm. breakfast, but uh, we want to make that emotional connection if we possibly can, yeah. Your canines, better control of hand gestures, better eye contact to all people. Better time use. Yeah, well, I started it, but I didn't uh, see where it stopped, so it <laughs> says 10 minutes or something. Uh, so we'll just say it was five minutes. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah great. Okay, yeah. So uh, how did it go on your canines? It was good. I just looked at the camera a little more than I looked at you, but... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But All right. the hands and the time, I think, were fine. Okay, good. Um... I'd like to see you, um, just, uh, walk a little bit more distinctly, yeah. and, but, yeah, it's hard in that room, there's a yeah. chair sitting there and all, but overall, a good job, uh, Eris. Thank you. thank you for coming in and doing a good job. Thank you. <laughs> Let me mark her down before I forget. I, I've been marking all these makeups down. Eris, you turned in one extra credit. Yes. You've got a. You'll send me a self evaluation mm -hmm. from this, and you've given me your intro, right? My what? The, your your uh, intro of your study buddy. Yes. Only the intro. What? No, no, the, the, like, I mean, are we only supposed to do that? No. Oh. You just turn it like, in. You're introducing Mr. But oh, yeah. Okay, so. That was one. It was the three second. Okay, and I have your final. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, good. Okay, very nice. Alright, let's uh, rock and roll. Actually, I need to excuse myself for a moment. So, uh, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. just uh, practice. Uh, uh, cool, cool. I need to go over it anyway. Go over it one more time. I'll be right. Take your back. time. Take your time. Okay. Nope. No, no rush. No, it's wrong. It's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna like go over We're gonna be like, it's okay, but. the lane final. I don't know
Miller. What um class is it though? Calm. Calm one. one. Yeah. Where'd he go? Bathroom. Yeah. Um. I have him for 104, and I was supposed to give a debate yesterday. Oh. Uh, yeah. For him? He's your teacher. Mm -hmm. No. Yes, it's locked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are here. We're here because we're here. Yeah. Visitor. We have a night visitor. Okay. I'm just turning in my final and all that. Okay. I was supposed to give a debate with Yuck, but he said he dropped the class. And oh, we were you... supposed to give it on Thursday. Oh, Yuck dropped the class. Apparently. So, what do you want me to do about your debate? Do you want That's me to just saying. judge you on your brief alone? You can. I have it all printed. Is it awesome? It is awesome. Okay. Well, um, that's fine. Uh, okay, wait. Wait, I have a lot spinning in my head, so just give me a moment to write that down. Uh, this is 104. Yuck, struck, what was it? Oh, uh, yeah, he has a nervous breakdown or something. I have no idea. He emailed me his brief. Like, he finished it, and I, like, had my rebuttal ready. He said he was going to do it, even though he was dropping the class. Well, I guess because we didn't meet, he decided not uh, to. Okay. Yuck, dropped the class, okay. So, I will, let me see, I will... Uh, that's the debate, and then that's the okay. corner policy brief, and then this is the final. So, Tiffany, I will double your brief score. This is for COM 104. Okay, um... Uh, do you, um, I have it downstairs, but do you remember who the other debate was between, it was supposed to go Thursday? I don't know. Do you know who know. it was? Okay. And what was your topic? Legalized pot. Legalized pot. Oh, that's very, um, timely. <laughs> that would have been good to hear, yeah. And which side were you? I was affirmative. Affirmative, yeah. Mm -hmm. So did yuck. He, he is his brief here? Or no, not? he didn't like he didn't fully finish it. He just sent me like majority of what he finished and then I like based my rebuttal off of what he gave me. Can you send me what he sent you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, great. Cuz uh, we uh, are debating this with the debating team. So. Oh, okay. I'd like to see if he got did he have any good original research um, any good stuff on Bad, bad effects in Colorado. Yeah, it, well, it was like bad effects in Washington, general. Yeah. It was like um, less gray matter in your brain. Yeah. Um, okay. Like a lower IQ. Yeah, for adolescents. Yeah, it was a lot of adolescent stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yuck. Do you know what yuck? Do you remember his last name? Uh, no, but I have his email, so... Okay. That's fine, I can look it up. But it just saves me a step. Okay, come on up for Tiffany. Breakfast at Tiffany. So that's with a B? I don't know.
his handwriting. Yeah. B I V L A Bivla. Okay, yeah, great. B I V L A. Maybe it's Burla. It could be an R. Yeah. B I R L A. Yux Burla. Yeah, he was telling me that um, when he was a child, he, he was bullied because of his name. Wow. People made to think, yuck, 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 and made fun of him. How sad. I know, I'm sad, yeah. Okay, good. Well, thank you for bringing this in. And, um, I also emailed them to you just in case. Okay, well, I appreciate that. saves me a... My, my printer is melting down from all the stuff I've had to print. So uh, I've gone through a whole cartridge. Thank you. Okay, Tiffany, good luck. Bye. Oh, Tiffany, yeah. I forgot to ask, but uh, did you do any of the extra credit or anything no, like that? You didn't go to tournaments or uh -huh. you didn't go to the extra credit? I worked, like, all That's the time. Nice so, yeah. I just want to make sure I wasn't missing anything yeah, from no. you. Okay. Oh, Great. What about my self eval for the debate? Yeah, well, obviously you can't do that, yeah. but you did your first one, I did right? My first one. Okay, that's that's okay. that's good enough. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hmm. It got real complicated canceling this class, yeah, as you can see. I kind of wish it just wasn't canceled. Well, I tried to overcome that, but I, I was overruled, so that's why. No extra credit and no debate judging. Okay. Good. Make sure your battery is still going to be alive because I think it was rolling. Oh, gosh.